Good morning, loud and proud crowd. So we're actually out here with the blue Chevy, and then we're also gonna be out here with, uh, you'll see this, you'll see this gem over here, long time no see. We're also out here with the first gen, this sorry site. What we need to do today, attempt to get this truck running. Now it did run and drive, and then I'm not sure what happened. It might have accidentally ended up in a river, and for some reason it doesn't want to start now. And so what we want to try to do is actually get this thing fired back up. And I think all it needs, I could be wrong, but I think all it needs is a jump. I tried to jump it a couple days ago, but I didn't give it very long to sit on the uh, jumper cables. I basically, if you look at the battery voltage, it's like, it's like not existent. So uh, basically what we need to do is probably jump this thing but it's gonna need a little bit of time to sit on there. So I'm gonna grab the little blue Chevy. I'm gonna drive it over here, get it hooked up, and let it sit there a little while and see if we can't get this whole first gen to fire back up and start kicking again. I'm not sure which side the battery's located on this thing, nor do I know if we have jumper cables here at the time. So we're gonna have to figure both those things out. I thought I was gonna be able to get the first gen running, however, good buddy old here, LNP mud truck, does not want to start. Um, I have a feeling I know what might be the problem, but I don't know for sure. I kind of have this sense that the starter might be seized up from being submerged in water and sitting for about two weeks. So that starter looks freaking original. It is old, it is rusty, and it has been there a long time, it looks like. So I would not be surprised if that is just what did it to actually take it out for good. But anyways, guys, this truck, I don't know what to do with it. Let me know what you guys think. Should I, you know, take off the tires and sell those and just sell the truck or should I just sell the truck as a whole? Does somebody want to give me two grand and just load it up and take it off? I mean, it's up to you. Um, now, keep in mind, of course, it is rusty, but axles are good, transmission was good, but it did run and drive until it sat for two weeks. So I don't know um, what happened, but, uh, Anyways, it's a four-wheel drive, rusted 12 valve. If you guys are interested, shoot me an offer. Being dead serious. Let's talk about the 7.3 project. I've gotten a lot of comments asking about this truck lately. Where's it been? Why don't you use it? Why don't you drive it? What happened? Does it run? Did you get rid of it? No, we still have it. You still kind of see it sometimes in the background in Instagram pictures and Snapchats and uh, Instagram stories. The truck is still here. It still runs, it still drives. However, it's currently on some flats and however, we can change that pretty quick. And we might actually start doing that today. I'm gonna actually air up the tires and we're gonna try to start this truck. Now this truck should start up just fine because the starter and all the other components were submerged in water. We're gonna actually turn our focus onto this truck today. See if we can get it at least uh, jump started so that it's fired up again and then get some air in these tires. And then uh, let's just start messing with it, guys. Let's start doing some stuff to this truck. And I really do want to get this truck in running and driving shape and then also get some new tires on it that aren't in bad condition. And then also I wouldn't mind getting this bed ripped off to really see what we're looking at. We can get a cheap flatbed put on. We got our jumpers all strung across over to the blue Chevy. Um, this truck's probably gonna need a little bit of a little bit of charge time because it's been sitting here a little while. Hopefully it won't take too much and we can get it going. By the looks of it currently, it is dead as a doornail. But in the meantime, let's get some air in the tires on this thing. Got both the front and rear tires aired up. There's the front. Um, but now we're gonna see if She'll crank over, and I'm not expecting it to crank over easy the first time. It's only been about five minutes since I hooked up the jumpers. And when a truck sat this long, that can be pretty dead. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see what happens. She's still acting a little dead. Just some random little flashes in the dash. Nothing really promising, but we'll see what happens here. She's trying, she's trying a little bit more than she was. So we're gonna give it just a little bit more time and I uh, might wiggle around those jumpers a little bit just to see if it kind of gets a little bit better connection just in case. Give it a few more minutes and see if we can't give her another try. And we officially have power like it's never had any other time. So that might be a good sign. So let's see, this is a moment of truth. 
Come on. Come on. Come on, old girl. Come on. Okay, so. Reagan and I are probably going to go and run some errands, and then come back to this project. I've been up since currently 7.15 doing, you know, messing with video stuff and internet stuff and just what I do, you guys know, the stuff that I do. And then basically she's been inside catching up on her stuff, but we're gonna go, we're gonna, I told her I would take her out on a date for brunch and we'd go out and have like a really late breakfast slash lunch and then go and get her her wedding band for the big day coming up. So we've got a lot of a lot of big things coming up and uh, you know, just wedding photographers lining up and all just, all, just lots of stuff, lots of stuff, more details than I can lay out right now. So we're gonna go and uh, take care of some of that super fun stuff and just super, super excited. Life-changing stuff. When you look back at all the things that you never really knew why you did what you did, but you just had like this gut feeling you had to keep doing it because there was something more to it. Like even like with what I do on YouTube, there are people that might be like, dude, it's dumb, it's stupid, this and that, get a real job, this and that. That's not the way I look at it because like without this YouTube channel, I never would have found Reagan. You know what I mean? Like I never would have found Reagan. I never would have had the opportunity to give back the trucks that I am. I never would have had the opportunity to launch this lawn care business, to launch this outfitter business. Um, I never would have had the opportunity to do, you know, to buy my grandpa his truck. I never, you know, like a lot of different things that like could not have happened if I would have given up. So it's one of those things where it's like, guys, don't give up, keep pursuing whatever it is, because if you feel this like gut instinct to just keep pushing and striving for something, do not let anybody tell you otherwise, because there's a very, very good chance there's a lot more to it and behind it than you even know. Well, I think I found out why this truck was completely freaking dead. <laughs> this freaking truck, the door was cracked, I kid you not like that. Which means the cab light on the inside was probably on and is probably why the battery is so freaking drained. But anyways, we're gonna try this key one more time. I know I said we were leaving, but one more time because it was so close. Come on, come on, old girl. Come on. She wants to, she wants to. Come on, come on. Okay, so we're just gonna leave it. We're gonna come back in a probably, I don't know, two hours get this thing fired up. If we don't get back, I want to tell you why I stopped building this truck. Okay, so the reason I stopped working on this truck, and I didn't, I can't even really say stop building because we never really started building it. We just kind of started dismantling stuff to get it in the process to do some items to it, to modify it a little bit. This truck, the reason I stopped working on it is because when I got to a certain point with like taking off the bumper, putting the different wheels and tires on, I was kind of like bored with it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? This is just like, this thing needs too much work. I'm like, it's just gonna be too much work. It's not gonna turn out good anyways. I'm like, why am I even wasting my time with this thing? And I'm like, this is just stupid. Like, it's not gonna, nobody's gonna wanna buy it when I'm done with it, and it's just like a dumb truck. Like, I'm sorry, Dad, when you see this, I'm like, it's just rotted out. It's got the whole hoods out of line now. I mean, the front end, um, where the bumper was, the mounting brackets are out of line a little bit. I'm like, it's just like, I. it's just kind of a rough truck. Like, it just. I don't see sinking a ton of money into it and somebody really wanting to either buy it off of us or do anything with it, nor would I really want to give it away because I'm like, it's just rough and I wouldn't want to give away something that's rough, you know, and I would do really anything with it. And then it kind of just hit me the other day and I'm like, you know what? There are a lot of people out there that are like, hey dude, I might only have, you know, a $6,000 budget and I would love to see what you can do with a junkyard truck that was totaled out and you bought back for you know 1500 bucks and what can you do to it to make it look decent and run good and get it going down the road on a budget with a four wheel drive high mileage diesel that still runs and shifts good it, it just started out a little rough to where nobody else really wanted to deal with it so i was like you know what that's a good point that's like that's why i started doing it in the first place so i'm going to get right back to it and try my best to make this thing happen well we're back with the old whitey with the big dually save the day the dually here it's been a good uh it's been a good rescue truck so we got it all hooked up to the batteries let's see if we can get it get it to take off this time it hadn't been on there very long but now that we're hooked up to the main battery on the 73 hopefully that makes a difference here we go she's still weak She's still weak, but we're gonna give her just about, I don't know, three more minutes, we'll give her another shot. Let's try this 
yet again. It's been about, I want to say five minutes since we attempted it the last time. So let's see here. We're going to have the lucky, lucky touch this time. We're going to get it. Almost, almost. Oh, there she goes. There she be. truck this morning just didn't quite have enough voltage to get that thing started up. I mean, I don't know for sure, but maybe that little little on tier truck just didn't have quite enough to get it to jump it, because this truck, I mean, this thing was hooked up uh, eight minutes tops, and it fired it right off, and the other one was hooked up for probably 25 minutes, and it just wouldn't do it, so I don't know. Glad that it started, though, so we're going to get this 7.3 rolled around here, and uh, get a little bit better look at it on the paint there. Gotta say guys, it is tough doing some of the things that I'm trying to do at my age. For example, this outfitter business I'm trying to launch, you know, so that we can start doing deer hunts over in Ohio, which has just been like a dream of mine to be able to like own ground over there and do that kind of stuff and to open a business like that. And people just don't take you seriously, man. Like when you're when you're younger, 19, and then you know, they're looking at everything, they're like, listen, everything looks good, but you know, we don't have very much history with you. You're young. It just makes it really tough because it's like, I'm just like a go, 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 go type of person. Like I just want to push and push and push and push like way faster than anybody can keep up with me. But it's like, it's tough when like all the people around you that you have to work with. And I'm not talking about like family and like my fiance stuff like that. I'm not talking about that kind of stuff. I'm talking about people around me in terms of like the people that work at the banks, companies and businesses and stuff like that, like that you're trying to work with. They don't understand it and they don't get you. And so it's just like, it's, it makes it really tough. All that being said, I'm still gonna freaking push and push and push and I'm gonna conquer and do whatever it is that I set out to do. I can promise you that. some wasps making a nest in here so it's kind of um it's kind of a uh, nerve-wracking when you've got freaking wasps flying around okay she's still she's still running drives shifts all that good stuff yeah she's a little rough around the edges let's try to get you guys a better look at her here and i'm gonna ask you guys where you think we should start on this thing not quite as pretty as the limited over there but <laughs> it runs and drives. Runs, drives, shifts through everything. All good. I mean, yeah, she needs a little work, but you know. I wonder how difficult it would be to take this bed off, honestly, guys. The bed's pretty much trash. I mean, not pretty much. I mean, it is trash. Like, I wonder how easy it would be to get that bed off, or if I could literally, like, since we got the tractor over here right now, if I could literally, like, hook it up to it and just, like, try to rip the thing off. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to find out. You're going to have to wait till the next video to see what I do to this thing next. But stay tuned, guys, because, um, we're going to try to have a little bit of fun with this truck. I think you guys might kind of like this stuff. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.